Hello viewers, welcome to another video. In this video, we will be going to learn how to properly size the circuit breaker according to our application. The sizing of circuit breaker means the selection of the ampere rating of the circuit breaker because it is the most important selection because it provides the protection to your circuit and the load connected to that branch circuit. So there are three steps in sizing the circuit breaker. First of all, you need to compute the load current. After computation of load current, you need to select the type of the application. When I say type of application, it means that we need to identify which type of load we require protection. For example, there are resistive loads such as lighting and the resistors and there are inductive loads such as motors. So we have two different types of application and finally once we select our application then the last step is to apply the NEC standard. So NEC standard classifies the selection of circuit breaker according to the type of application. In this video we will learn how to size the circuit breaker for the resistive load or the load other than the motor load. The standard of the NEC which defines the branch circuit protection is NEC 240.20A which states that where a branch circuit supplies the continuous loads or any combination of continuous and non-continuous loads, the rating over current device which can be a circuit breaker or the fuse shall not be less than 100% of the non-continuous load plus 125% of the continuous load. It is to be noticed here that NEC classifies the load into two different types. The first is the continuous load and the other is the non-continuous loads. In most of the videos and literature, the size of the circuit breaker is selected according to the 125% of the total load. But NEC states that for the continuous load, the circuit breaker must be sized as 125% whereas for the non-continuous load the circuit breaker can be sized 100% of the total full load current. So what is continuous load? The continuous load is defined as the load where the maximum current is expected to continue for the 3 hours. So such type of load the circuit breaker will be 125% of the full load current and the non-continuous load is defined as the load where the maximum current is expected for less than 3 hours. So we can use the circuit breaker equal to the 100% of its maximum current rating. So let us see the example of the branch circuit protection according to the NEC standard. We have a circuit that supplies two different types of load. The first is the continuous load which is equal to 13.7 amps and the other is the non-continuous load which is equal to 4 ampere. So we need to size the circuit breaker to feed both types of load. First of all, according to the NEC, 1.25 multiplied by the continuous load plus 100% of the non-continuous load, the total currents come out to be 21.1 ampere. So this is the rating of the circuit breaker. Since this is not a standard frame of the circuit breaker, will move to the next standard size which is 25 ampere. So the proper rating of the circuit breaker for this types of load is 25 ampere. So this sizing is only applicable for the lighting load or the load that is other than the motor load. In my next video I will explain how to properly size the circuit breaker for the motor circuits. For more interesting videos Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.